already at a crossroads. Choosing a path in life is that fork in the road where you make a choice or simply stop living. But for you, it's not only a crossroad, but a choice. A reflection of your key, the primal energy that flows through everything. Let me introduce myself. I'm the light and bright side of you, or your inner voice to be precise. An echo of balance and consequence of your actions as you move forward. Seems more like you're being light-headed, if you ask me, but you'll come around, eventually. But what comes around goes all the way back around. So, it's better to stick to your instincts. You can't fight what's in your nature. In your nature? And here I was hoping we'd be all about natural selection, survival of the strongest, and so forth. If that's not instinct, then I don't know what is. Ha! Natural selection is all about evolution and progress, and as soon as there's enough light, darkness will disappear! Anyway, he needs help and says it's by your actions you'll be judged, not by your intentions. He's grateful for that. You still seem to have a spark of light in you. Oh, that's a spark of light in you! What's there to like about light? It hurts to look at. Not as much as it hurts to look at you. Always making this personal. And you're always trying to pretend it's not. Out of Date says someone needs to break the stalemate and shift the balance of power to either Jagni's or Myriad's side. Koibe o korfabe o duvon ko kumvunkunu. He believes the tribe Sifus, Myriad especially, will listen to you and expects you to pay at least one of them a visit and play your part. He can sense you share Myriad's view on the world. The Myriad would embrace someone willing to fight against the tyranny of the Jagni. He says you should know that what's meant to be will always find a way, but history shouldn't consume you. Gizmo encourages that. You should forgive, but never forget. It'll provide some comfort to your soul and keep the memory of lost loved ones in your heart. Fan that flame! Wait, no! Uh, bright light blinds! It's, it's dangerous! I've got all the cold, sick burns you need, Dark. Oh, do you have to insult me over this? I don't have to. But I want to! <laughs> Just flip the switch of a generator that produces superheated, glowy air and get on it when the lightning charge forms. Simple, right? Oh? Says you both agree on that. Light! Instantly vanishes dark. How much light do you really need? All the light! All of it! <sighs> I mean, you could leave a little space for the dark. All the light. He figures he could make a skeleton key. A key that'll unlock any old lock. If only he had a back-in-time bone. He's talking about remains of the dead and gone. And that means a chill down your spine as this bone comes from a particular site. The gone forevermore. Figures you could use it for good, if you wanted to. The light shines on! Better isn't the word I would use. Right, not better. Best. You're the worst. The worst of being the worst? Which is the best? The Jagni tribe wants to become omnipresent and, most importantly, feared. They want to vanquish the tribes as the only way they can guarantee peace is through supremacy. 
He didn't expect it would go down this way. It'll be hard to talk your way out of a fight. He's not sure if you're likable enough to just give up the fort without a fight. He realizes a peaceful end would be best. He'll entrust the fort to you. The rival Sifu is defeated, and the destiny of their tribe is in your hands. You are free to choose their fate, but not free from the consequences of your choice. He'll leave it up to you to decide the fate of the rival Sifu, but suggests you be merciful. Do good, and good will follow you. Thinks it's a good gesture to offer support to others when you can see that they need it. And with that, you're spinning your own fate, good or bad, never to be undone. Side by side they'll stand until order and stability is reinstituted. The tribes are tired of war and will remember the one who brought them peace, whether you decide it'll be now or later. So, do you want to end the war now, or continue the crusade? He agrees. Better save your energy for something meaningful. This one seems to be in good spirits, despite being left here for dead. Has heard that you have a sense of compassion and trusts it's in your nature to help those in need. Asks you to do the right thing for the sake of your conscience. It's only through your inner conflict you're held accountable for your actions. Is grateful you chose that. You can't be good without doing good for others. Come toward the light. Slow down. Why would you rush in? When you see what you want, why wait? Well, what about being careful? <gasps> Poppycock! Full speed ahead! Run, Dark, run! It's not a race. You only say that because you're losing. That doesn't mean I'm wrong. No, there are lots of other reasons you're wrong. There's a bright day coming. Hey, that's going to get you burned. The only one getting burned around here is you. That stings. Oh, do you want some first aid for that? That's so bright. Seriously, you like the shine. You just don't want anyone to get a good look at you. Uh, Dark is stylish. <laughs> Lie to yourself all you like, darling. Love to see you shine on. Ugh, no one likes Perky. Perky's so uncool. The night may be cool, but you sure ain't. I am too cool. <laughs> If you have to tell people you're cool, you're not. Love the glow 
of the light. No. Down! Down! Oh. All the way up! Crank that glow up to eleven! I'll make you glow! Too late! The shadows are getting so small! I feel attacked! You should feel attacked! That's the whole point! Uh, wait, what? Uh, but, but what's life without dark? A lot happier. It's like the whole world is glowing! Oh, shine like that and the dark disappears. Now that's the right idea, Dark. Just disappear. You know, I'm starting to think you don't like me. I don't! He says that the catastrophe back then didn't vanquish the good in you. It's still there, as bright as when you were a child. Blood. Now the time has come for you to remember and act. Your life is your life not the story you're told about it. He thinks that's the right thing to do. It's only when you have forgiven that you'll find peace. Where's that dark now? What? Wait, no, I, I'm right here. What's that? Did someone say something? I am right here. Hello? Is anyone there? Oh, oh God. Wonders if there are any open seats left in that fancy arc glider of yours. So, what we have here is an opportunity to help your next. There's a seat open on the arc should you want to offer it as a gesture of appreciation. Why? You don't need anyone else but yourself and me, of course, but I'm a part of you, so that doesn't count. If you want to go quickly, go alone. If you want to go further, go together. The only one we'd want to get away quickly from here is darkness. But you know you can't go on without me. Even if I'm bad company, I complete you. Hmm. I think we can finally agree on something. It is better to be alone than in bad company. But best of all is being good company yourself. Feels thrilled to snag a seat in your ark. Can't wait to glide through the skies. Noko says history is like the trail you've been on. You can walk back down it any time you like until it's worn smooth. But you get to blaze your own trail from here. Then you are stronger than her. She can't help wanting Looper Lupin to pay for what he did to her Ganotes, despite the fact it's against her nature. Bet you can see clearly now. Oh, that much light isn't good for you. Oh, you're just afraid it'll burn you to ash and you'll blow away. I'm not. <clears throat> well, not, not that much. <laughs> you should be. Any idea who might be joining you on your archy journeys? So, what we have here is an opportunity to help your next. There's a seat open on the Ark should you want to offer it as a gesture of appreciation. Feels deeply honored that you'd want her to come with you. An Ark is no Ganote, but she can't pass this up. She's coming aboard. Everything's so bright! I mean, sure, if you like that sort of thing. Just close your eyes if reality's too much for you. You're too much for me. Only because you're not used to watching a winner! Hard to find any shadows now. That's not necessary. The prey always says that about the hunt. Oh, you don't have to be so vicious about it. Of course I don't. But I'm enjoying it. Says he's terrified of the brog that lives in the middle of a desolate garbage pile. It's this giant mouth in the middle of the ground, and it's hungry. If they don't keep it fed, it might chow down the entire place. Thinks it doesn't move much. Just watch your step. Claims this used to be a pleasant place to live before the brog showed up underneath it. Someone needs to feed the brog. Something yum yum or baboom. No one who calls this a home can manage it. How about you? 
Figures you must be the best food maker around. Duck for leaves before light! Oh, no need to shout. There is when you're running so far away. I'm still here. Not for long if I have anything to do with it. It's important you don't let your history determine your course of action. She suggests you choose your own horizons. Lobo surprised by that. She herself would never forgive a wrongdoing like that. He doesn't want to read too much into this, but who's going with you in the Ark? So, what we have here is an opportunity to help your next. There's a seat open on the Ark should you want to offer it as a gesture of appreciation. Can't wait to join you on your journey. Just has to pick the right books to bring along. He knows that though the tides of history may push you in one direction, you can always lay your own course. Ultimately, it's your choice. You were the one to be wronged and have lived with the consequences. He believes in consequence as it's a direct result of action. Wonders who you might call aboard the Ark with you. So, what we have here is an opportunity to help your next. There's a seat open on the Ark should you want to offer it as a gesture of appreciation. After spending a life on the rails, he's eager to ride the skies with you. Just let him pack his rollerboard and he'll roll aboard. The Sifu is seeking revenge too. He hasn't forgotten what Lupa Lupin did, but he also wants to stop him from attacking his tribe. That the world seems to survive doesn't mean he must. He hopes you agree, even if it goes against your light-hearted nature. There's no room for predators in the world the Myriad tribe is building. But he knows this is your fight. You should handle it. Lupa Lupin's own fear was his shackles, not the roots of the tree. It just changed him. chance to stand back and let the tribe handle it. ready to step into the fray. Are the odds about to change in your favor? If a friend dies, something inside you dies. You can save the Sifu by making yourself a target. You're up. Shockwaves spread when the world crumbles. This is not a prophecy, me telling you about the future. 
It's you shaping it. he does, the stronger he becomes. Time you remember who the real enemy is and stop playing the game his way. So, this is how it ends. The predator and the world itself suffering but at least it's a sign they're both still alive. So, what we have here is a clear matter of life and death, and only you can make a difference. You continue to make bad decisions and mistakes. Oh, it never ends. It's easy to make a good decision when there's only one option. The only mistake here is you. My mistake is letting you speak. My conviction is that the world would be a better place without your voice. Convincing yourself doesn't win the argument. In the end, we won't remember the words of our enemies, but the silences of our friends. The weak can't forgive. Forgiveness is a strength. It's not all life and death. It's no better time than now to accept a helping hand. Do you wonder what turn life might have taken if you'd done things different? A left when you went right? A yes when you said no? You've walked the thin line between survival and disaster and haven't lost your balance yet. 
It's because of you, the Tree of Life, and the world has been given a second chance. You carried the light in a world full of dark and made a difference in a place that needed change. You allied with the Myriad tribe and acted on understanding of the greater good and a code of honor. However, light and dark does simply represent the polarities of life. One can't exist without the other. This isn't the end. Just being surrounded by nature as it heals itself will rejuvenate us. Nature will teach us how to survive. So, trust your conscience to show you the way and everything else will follow. But you're not alone. You filled the Ark, and those that shared your perspective and gained your trust will accompany you on your journey. Is there a world out there that's better suited for those imbalanced in their light nature than this one? Whether or not, we'll leave your story on record, so those who come after will know you followed your light nature and saved the world. So, when all is said and done, it turned out to be an unusual ending after all. What could be better than ending the story the right way? Ending it your way. A beginning of something new.